The Elkometer 500 coating thickness gauge accurately, repeatably, reliably and non-destructively measures the dry film thickness of a coating up to 9mm or 355mm thick, which has been applied to concrete or other similar substrates, such as plasterboard, drywall and brick. The Elkometer 500 can be used straight out of the box. Simply insert the batteries, connect the probe, switch on, select the coating from the calibration library and take a reading. It's that easy. Incorporating state-of-the-art ultrasonic measurement technology, each gauge can be calibrated in one of three ways. To a known thickness of the coating to be inspected, by setting the speed of sound of the coating, or by selecting the coating from a list of generic or user-defined coating materials. Once the gauge has been calibrated, the Alcometer 500 has a measurement accuracy of plus or minus 2%. But how do you go about creating a known thickness of the coating? And how do you find out what its speed of sound actually is? If the coating manufacturer has included the speed of sound on the product data sheet, then simply select the velocity entry calibration method from the calibration menu and insert the speed of sound. The gauge will then ask you if you wish to save the coating in the material library for use at a later date. If you do, press yes and follow the on-screen instructions. By pressing no, the gauge is calibrated and returns to the reading screen. If the speed of sound is not included on the coating manufacturer's datasheet or is not already listed on your gauge's coating material list, then you can create your own calibration standard using the Elkometer Coating Calibration Mold, or CCM. The Elkometer CCM consists of a steel mold which has a sample and overflow chamber together with a clear plastic scraper. Simply place the Elkometer CCM onto a flat horizontal surface and completely fill the sample chamber with the test coating, making sure that there is a slight dome or meniscus. Slide the plastic scraper over the coating, allowing the excess to fall into the overflow chamber and wait until the coating is fully cured making sure that the CCM remains flat at all times. If you're not preparing the sample in a laboratory, the best time to prepare a calibration sample is most likely to be when the coating is being applied, as you can take a sample of the material. Once the coating is fully cured, take a ferrous coating thickness gauge which has been calibrated using a foil or shim on the Elkometer CCM. Then measure and record the dry film thickness at the centre of the coating in the sample chamber. Select the one-point calibration method from the Elkometer 500's calibration menu. Take a measurement of the coating at the same central point as the coating thickness gauge and enter the dry film thickness value when prompted. Then press set. Again, the gauge will ask you if you wish to add this to the coating material library. To do so, press yes and insert an appropriate name for the coating. The material name and speed of sound or velocity is now saved for use at any time. By using the Elkometer CCM in this way, the Elkometer 500 calibration is traceable to national and international standards. The user-defined coatings can be transferred into the material coatings library within Elkomaster for use at any time on any Elkometer 500 gauge. Select the coatings from your list and transfer them to any Elkometer 500 gauge. If you don't have access to the coating to create a calibration sample and it's not on the product data sheet, the Elkometer 500 has a number of typical materials listed within the generic coating list, including epoxy, PVC and rubber, for example. To verify the calibration and performance of the Elkometer 500, each probe is supplied with two calibration foils, or shims. Select the test foil from the generic material list and measure each foil, comparing the gauge reading to the foil thickness value. The gauge reading should be within plus or minus 2% of the foil thickness value. As the Elkometer 500 uses ultrasonic technology to non-destructively measure the coating thickness on concrete and other similar substrates, the gauge's overall measurement range is determined by the coating's formulation. Whilst the Elkometer 500 can measure up to 9mm or 355mm of a typical epoxy coating, more sound absorbent coatings such as rubber will reduce the measurement range of the gauge. Similarly, due to the nature of the measurement technology, Coatings with high levels of aggregate may also affect the performance of the gauge. For more information on the Elkometer 500, the Elkometer CCM, or any other Elkometer product, 
click on one of the links on screen or visit Elkometer.com. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the Elkometer channel to be notified of any new videos.